That's what's walking here, so. So, this bee yard is basically all screwed up. This summer, it's been hit at least twice that we can tell with pesticides or something. It could have been more. Uh, we just don't know. Um, back in late spring, after they'd made a pretty good crop of honey, they were just massive colonies one day, and then the next time we came, they the, just not hardly any bees at all. You could see dead bees in the grass, and and uh, we thought, okay, well, you know, they'll bounce back, and they did. By midsummer, they were making honey again, and I guess all the brood that had been present hatched, and the population came back up. They were looking pretty good again. And then the time after that, when we came back, once again, they were all completely depleted of bees. And then the last time we were here, <clears throat> last time we were here, which was what, just two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Once again, they just looked pathetic. So I promise you that this will not, we will not be here next summer. I don't know where it's coming from. When you look around, you don't see anything, but you know, you never know what's a quarter mile over the hill. But, uh, being hit two or three times in one season is just unacceptable. So now we're gonna to have to try to baby them back. When we were here a couple of weeks ago, they were just, what, two, three frames of bees, a lot of them. So everybody's gonna get something as far as feed. If they, even if they're heavy, I wanna give them a jar with a single two penny hole in the top, keeps them stimulated. Um, everybody here gets a double dose of DFM, the probiotics. And uh, I don't even know what else to suggest. That's the best we can do right now. Pollen is starting to come in, so if they just don't get messed up again, you know, maybe the incoming pollen will stimulate them enough to where they'll grow to four or five or six frames of healthy bees going in the winter. Just about every bee coming in has got pollen on them. Yeah, they're really loaded. It's this yellow pollen, so it's the uh, um, wing stem, a little bit of goldenrod starting to come in. Looks like Martin hit the stand with the lawnmower. Let's just see what these guys look like. You got a hive tool, Jesse? Yeah. Give them a little smoke here. Yeah, that's pretty small for a colony that made three supers of honey a couple months ago. I'm anxious to look in them and see what the brood looks like. That's actually one of the better looking ones compared to what I was seeing the last time I was here. Uh, let's see what this one looks like. Well, they sure glued it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that, as long as they got good healthy brood, that'll make it through. Let's see what this one looks like. Actually, let's, let's look at this one. This had a queen introduced on 629, so this has a pretty new queen. Yeah, this is really down. Let's go back here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and smoke them. Let's look at the brood. You can't see them much anymore. They're all, they've rotted into the grass, but earlier you could just see wads of dead bees in front of the colonies. Mm. Well, mm. Mm. it's small. I don't see any brood issues. Lots of pollen coming in. Good nutrition is the best thing that can happen to them. Looks like we're looking at probably two frames of brood. A little more smoke, Jesse. I don't have a veil on. Thank you. Yeah, that's not much. Okay. Well, we'll just do the best we can with them. A slow, steady stream of thin syrup some probiotics, good pollen, good pollen flow. Maybe they'll make it through winter. 
And uh, what a shame. It's so discouraging when you really work on a yard and get them in good shape and all requeened and everybody's looking good and then you show up and, you know, they're mm -hmm. greatly diminished. Anyway, that's a part of beekeeping. Sometimes you get good surprises, sometimes you get bad surprises. This is a good winter location, so we'll leave them here for the winter, but these will definitely not be here next summer. We're not going to do that again. If I knew what it was and I could talk to the person, that could be, you know, something I could possibly do, but I don't even know what's, what they're getting into. I don't see it. I don't see where there is any agriculture around. Could be something as simple as some neighbor's corn patch or squash patch or something. Well, if I had to guess, and it is just a guess at this point, I'd say we can probably get about three quarters of these through the winter. Uh, the ones with the jars on them are the very smallest ones. We just put a jar on with a single two-penny nail hole in them, so it'll be a very slow but uh, consistent flow. We'll see how it goes. Keep our fingers crossed. Oh, really, it all depends on the winter weather. Now, if it gets real cold, the little ones won't make it. If it's a warm winter, maybe they'll sneak through. About half of the field force coming back into these colonies is loaded with pollen. It's uh, yellow. And there's a lot of it. And it's that weed right over there. It's definitely doing its thing. It's covered up with these blooms or whatever you call these things. Some of it's six, seven feet high. A lot of bees in it. brought one and two gallon buckets. A few of them are getting a one gallon. It's still too soon to be feeding too much. I don't want to restrict the brood nest in this yard. These bees are pretty good. I'm seeing two to four frames of brood in all of them. Checking to make sure they're clean right. It actually still has a little bit of time all on it. How about that? And they're making a wall around it. Yeah, they don't like it. My, the ones I looked at were pretty good, had pretty good frames of brood in them. I've not seen anything north of Habersham that didn't have a, an exceptional brood pattern so far. Yeah. Have a look at one of these. all larvae and eggs, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. this, you can see that brood pattern's just... It's pretty pretty new. Yeah. Which is typical after an apigard treatment. How about you, Seth? What did you see? Good stuff? All good. I had one dud, but other than that, it was pretty good. I one dud? Pretty great. Oh, um, I want this yard to be all the same. Did you work that one, that double D? Yeah. Can you work it down into a single? Ah, uh, maybe. What do you mean maybe? maybe? Is it full of There's bees? There's quite a bit of brood in there and a lot of bees. Okay, we'll work it down later then. Okay, all right. The idea this season is that... Yeah, yards... it had four frames of brood in the top. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Did, you going to give them an inside feed or two? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, let's... If they Push got four, them down. Yeah, if they got four <laughs> frames of brood in the top this okay. time of year, that means they need more food. Copy that. 